I'd like to introduce you to the most interesting window unit I have ever met. This is the new Medea U, fresh from the factory. You can still smell the plastic. It is called the U because it's shaped like a U. The idea here is that you close your window right here, and it's basically a mini split for your window. You've got the inside and the outside, and the only thing that's connecting them is this refrigerant line right here and some wires for running the motor and doing the electronics. It's a beautiful design. The thing that you're probably noticing that's missing is the axle that normally runs through the middle of these units. Uh, and that's usually, they do that because they're cheap and you only need one AC motor to drive both the inside and the outside fan. But the bad news is, is that creates this path for noise to flow back and forth and it's just a bad design. We were stuck with it for a long time, but now we have variable speed motors and they're cheap. So I'm glad to see that someone has finally brought this design to the window unit market. Let's take a look at what's going on in the outside package. So you can see the UVW. This is a variable speed compressor, beautiful. They can run this at any speed they need to and have the speed match the demand that's coming from the inside. Why do you wanna do that? Well, on a crappy AC induction compressor, you only have two choices, on and off. So when you're running the unit and then your temperature goes down in your room and you finally get to the set point, kajunk, it turns off the compressor. And then when it warms up a little bit and you're fast asleep at three o'clock in the morning, kajunk, it turns back on again. With this, What'll happen is as you, re as you get close to the set point, it's gonna slow this compressor down, it's gonna slow the two fans down, and then it's just gonna match that demand. So these are gonna be running so quietly and softly, no ka-chunking, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, no waking up in the middle of the night. Uh, next, we have the controller board. This looks completely different than a normal window unit controller board because it has so much more work to do. It's got a proper microprocessor on here that is count, doing all kinds of calculations to figure out how to control those three variable speed motors. Super beefy heat sink here that's sitting on top of the power transistors, again, that are driving those three variable speed motors. We have one of those variable speed motors here. This is driving the fan to cool off the condenser coils. And again, it's gonna match that to run it as slow as it can to keep the, press, the pressure in the condenser coil right. Uh, down here at the bottom of the condenser coil, we can see that it dips into this trough here, which fills up with a puddle of condensate fluid. So you get a little bit of super cooling down there with, from the condensate. You have, this is a, oh, beautiful. This is an electronic temperature sensor. There's one here on the return liquid and one here on the hot gas line. Normally on a window unit, at best, you would have mechanical uh, overflow switches here, which would cut the unit out in case those got too high or too low. But on this one, the computer can watch and see exactly what the pressure and temperature is going on inside the system so that it knows how to match the three motors to that demand with the lowest possible speed. Just a beautiful thing. I mean, come on, these things cost pennies. There's no reason not to use them, except that people are just stuck using the old designs. So glad to see finally someone's using modern design principles in these window units. Come over here. This is a little gutter that directs the condensate into that tray that we were looking at before. I think that's it for the outside unit. Come to the inside unit and like this is basically just a mini split inside unit bolted onto this a rail here to hold the whole thing together. Uh, if you look inside, it even looks like the inside of a very skinny little mini split. You got the evaporator coil and a linear fan. And oh, it's got, this is a very nice touch. This little dongle here is from a company called Smart something. What was it? Smart Kit. Uh, I've seen these inside the Mr. Cool mini splits. It's just a nice feature, lets you turn on the air conditioner before you come home so that the room is uh, nice and cool when you get there. So nice that they put this in here, they don't charge you extra for it, probably cost them a couple of bucks. No reason to make you pay a hundred bucks like some other air conditioners do. And that's it, let's turn it on so you can see just how quiet it is. So if you listen, 
You can hear those motors soft starting rather than that ka -chunk. You hear really nice. The dominant sound that you hear is just the whooshing of the air. There is a little bit of a clacketing noise coming from the compressor, especially as it comes up to speed. That may be the reed. I'm not sure if you know, let me know. But uh, there is a blanket that came with the compressor and I bet with that blanket on and with the housing on and with the window in place, you're not gonna be hearing this compressor inside. Ah, oh, just a beautiful unit. Medea did a great job on this. I'm so glad to finally see some innovation in the window unit space. Let's hopefully see more. Uh, if you can get your hands on one of these now, I would. Uh, you won't be disappointed. This is a beautifully designed unit.